As an academic center, the goal is to uh, not just follow, but actually to lead and be a trailblazing program. We could not have a successful liver transplant program if we did not take a multidisciplinary approach. And I think this is what separates us from other transplant centers. Our success is really due to a large number of physicians, uh, physicians assistants, pharmacists, social workers, all working together to improve the patient's life. So this is a uh, model of a liver and what we are looking over here is a nice smooth surface and that's typically what we see in patients with no liver disease. Once cirrhosis develops, regardless of the cause, we get these bumps on the surface, we call these uh, liver nodules. The radiologists, through the use of CAT scans and ultrasounds, are able to actually determine and see these nodules. That's how they frequently diagnose cirrhosis based on imaging studies. Unfortunately, once you have cirrhosis, the patient is at increased risk for developing liver cancer. These patients uh, have very poor prognosis without transplant. The majority would not survive more than one year. Now, the overall goal of our research program is to uh, discover or or create or develop techniques in to increase the number of available organs for transplantation. As you know, there is a severe shortage of organs and a lot of people are dying every day while waiting for an organ. And so our goal is to convert those non-transplantable organ to a transplantable organ by what we call the organ resuscitation. The, the um, unique thing about the liver is its ability to regenerate in its anatomy. Um, having said that, uh, you're able to split a liver and that segment that you split, it will grow uh, or regenerate to what a normal um, size would be for that individual. The advantages of inside to split transplant uh, eventually comes to uh, what I believe a safer way to a split the liver and avoids what avoids what we call rewarming. So because the organ is split while the heart is still beating inside the body, uh, we're, very, we're very familiar familiar with the orientation and anatomy in that position. Uh, because there is blood flow, we're able to safely preserve the blood supply of the liver and hence preserving two grafts or two liver segments out of one whole uh, one disease donor. We find that uh, when we take the team approach to our patients, uh, success typically follows. <music>